Hey guys, Maddie here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take the uh, paper mache pumpkin and put some of the napkins we made yesterday onto our pumpkin. So I'm just going to use, I've got uh, school glue and water mixed. That's going to be my medium today because I still haven't been out to get anything else. And it works just as good as anything else. And to do this, I'm just going to start with this one side here and put it on here. Now you can uh, decorate these napkins any way you want, like I showed you in the video yesterday. I'm just, I've got two of them here, and I'm just going to start. Uh, I'm going to tear it and put it on here because I think this, it'll do better. The seams will do better. We don't have all the straight edges on it. I'm going to tear this end off here as well. Okay. Yeah. We've got our napkin. Let's go ahead and start putting it on here. And you can paint your pumpkin if you want ahead of time, but I'm not because I want it to be a neutral color. I'm doing this. I'm just going to take a brush and pounce it on. Oops, now be careful because you can mess it up. That's what I just did. Did it a little too rough. That's okay. We can fix it. We can fix it. Just go easily over it. This is a rounded surface, so you want to go easy. time on here of this glue and water mixture. I think I'm just going to use the same, the same old brush here. It's okay if it has wrinkles. I want it to be a rustic pumpkin. So there we go. Let's get a little more underneath that. Lay it down. Now you can go over it with a, a brush that's not as stiff as mine if you want. Look, this is going to be a cute pumpkin. It's going to be cute, cute, cute. So let's tear another piece. And that's just these plain napkins, cocktail napkins, that I did the stamping on yesterday. So, because you can create your own, very own decoupage paper, like I'm doing now, by doing that. And I showed you how to do the stamps on it yesterday in the video. If you didn't watch that video, go and watch it, please, if you want. And thank you. It's been a long day. I've been busy doing stuff so that's why I'm doing this video like this because it's been a long day and I just now got finished eating a sandwich for dinner what did y'all have for dinner I just had a sandwich a chicken sandwich with some onion and tomato and cheese and mayonnaise and lettuce that's what I put on mine on here and do the very same thing as I did on the other side and it can overlap they don't hurt it to overlap just a little bit anyway so you can do smaller sections if you want okay I'm just going to put a little bit more right through here have that completely on there so you can go ahead and just pull a little bit of it off if you want and still have some of the, the pumpkin showing. It's okay because I want it to be a rustic pumpkin. See how that went on there? We have 
what do we know about the pumpkin? But we'll fix that. All I have to do is just put a little piece. I'm going to show you if you mess up. Just put a little piece on there. I just didn't want to cover up that flower. So I'm just going back and piecing it where I want it to be. And that way it's covered and I'm not messing up my flower. All you gotta do. keep going around. Now I have my glue and water in a little container. That's the way I do my, my glue. My school glue is what that is. And a little, very little water. Just enough to make it go on this easily. Not so thick. It's gonna have some wrinkles, but that's okay. And I think I'm gonna maybe just tear this right here where it's wrinkling. Okay. Get that part down. And just go over here and put this part right back on here. But I tore it off so that it's because it's round. You want it to go on there smoother just tear the piece off like I'm doing here and then put your glue underneath and just go towards where you want it to lay. Get it on here. It's gonna be real pretty when it's finished. But I wanted to show you how you could use these napkins if you make your own napkins how to put it on whatever you want to put it on. I'm going to tear this in here. This is the next piece. And I want to get this bottom piece off because I don't want it straight. So I'm just going to tear that. So how have your day been? Do y'all have plans for the weekend? Let me know in the comments. I'm probably just going to get some more stuff done around the house or who knows what I'm going to be doing this weekend. That's probably what I'm going to be doing. Catching up on some laundry because we had to get a new laundry set. So, I've been trying to catch up on it a little bit. I almost got it all completed. I just got a maybe a small load left to finish. And I'll be called up on all my laundry. Like I said, I'm going to go right here and start. We left off on that side. It's okay to overlap it. And I'm just pushing down as I go with my brush to lay down the paper. Okay, and you can go back and fill in. Like I got a spot there, and we're gonna fill in up here. So I'm just gonna take some of this glue and put it up here. And I'm just gonna tear a piece off wherever I want to tear it. And my napkin, and I'm just gonna lay it up. Here. And I think I can do a small piece there, and do you can just piece it in. I'm doing right here. Just piece it in. Make sure you cover it up. What you want covered. I'm just going to take my brush and push it into the in place that I want it to be. Okay, let me get a little more glue poured out here. Push them down. Part. Let's get another piece 
you can go right here and get this one. And I think right there, let's put a little more of this on there. I'm just trying to get the writing off right now, not the flower. I want the writing on this side. And I left that little flower on there. I'm just tearing off that straight edge. Okay, let's get this on here. And I think I only need yeah, just a smaller part of this. I don't need it all, so I will tear that off. So to the side, just take my brush like I did before and I'm just pushing down the napkin. Pushing down the napkin. Oops. My napkin is wet so it will stick as you can see to my table there. Okay. For the most part I've got it done. Just got this little spot over here. You get it done. Okay. And I'm just taking this extra here. And I'm going to go right down here. So this is, I'm going to try not to lay it down on the table right there. And I'm going to push, push it on here like I did the other parts. See? And when you tore it, I can't really see the seams of it, and it goes together pretty good. Pretty good once you go on there. You can't really tell all the seams, but it's just funny. It's cute. There's our, whoops. There's our pumpkin. Okay, I don't need any more of this glue, so I'm going to go ahead and close it up. Just the lid off here. Closing that up. Okay, but I do want to paint this uh, darker, the stem. So let's get some. This is a uh, Java. I can get it open. I'm going to use a little bit of Java to paint it. I do have a brush here. I'm going to paint my stem just a little bit darker of a color. A little part now. I'm also going to put just a tad bit of green in with this while it's wet. I'm doing it while it's wet. Because stems have, they are dark and light. So I'm just going to watch where I put my fingers though on my pumpkin because it is wet. So give me some green. And I'm going to do this. Uh, key lime pie green from Paint Pixie, and I am affiliate with Paint Pixie. It's in my on featured, where you can get go to the featured section of my page, and there is a link for my affiliate link. If you all want to go and order anything from Paint Pixie with that affiliate link, you don't have to, but if you want to, it's there. Okay, I want to make it more realistic so I'm just mixing this in with a little bit of that green that you can tell see makes it more realistic and I just mixed a little bit of the green and the brown together okay. just to give it that now I have this is a branch off of a flower that I had uh, cut and I just twisted it up just twisting it. You can twist it however you want. I had a, let's see. I might be able to do it on here a little bit more. Let's try to get it on here. I was trying to get it more rounded. But anyway, you can save your stems and make these little tendrils for your pumpkins and things like that. So I'm just going to stick it down in here. I'm going to go 
up. So, this is paper mache, so I'm just going to stick it down in there. There's your little tendril on it. And I've got a leaf here, a couple of leaves. And, oh yeah, where's my other glue? We're going to use this glue. I don't know what I did with my other glue that I was going to use, but we have this, so let's use it. We'll pretend that we have hot glue out because I forgot to get my hot glue. I don't know where I did where I said it. I thought I had brought it in here, but I didn't. That's okay. You can use whatever glue you want. I'm just going to use a little bit. Let me see. And I'm going to stick it right here by the paper. There's our cute little pumpkin. I think it's cute. For fall. You can uh, put it in any farmhouse decor, shabby chic, you name it, you can put it in there. And you can also um, give it even more rust if you want to do the uh, distress oxides on it to make it even look more distressed. But isn't that a cute little pumpkin? Let's go ahead and dry it for a minute so you can see what it looks like dried. Right. So I did bring a little drying tool here. Just have to plug it up. I thought I brought my hot glue, but I didn't. Okay, it's gonna be uh, loud for just a second. And I only did one, one leaf. doing like the orange for fall. Do you like it with green the next the blue? I mean or you just do white? You can do white as well. What color do you like to do for fall? Let me know in the comments. I may put two leaves on there. Let me flip that off. The tea is drying, as you can tell. I'm going to have to put my leaf back on, but that's alright. Let's get this dried. Okay, it's not all the way dried, but it's a little bit dry. Almost completely dry. I want I want to put this down a little bit. I want this leaf. Let's see, right there. Let me see. Do I want to put this other leaf on here? I think so. I think I might want to put the other leaf on there. Let's, I don't know. I want to just put it here and see what I think. I think two might be too much. I'm just going to do the one. So there it is. There's our completed pumpkin and it's pretty much dry and we just used the uh, napkin that I stamped yesterday. I did a bunch of them. No, it was three ply and we just took the plies apart and we stamped on them. You can do whatever ones you want and make your own thick clutch paper. So I wanted to show you how it looks on something. There it is. Cute little pumpkin. So I hope y'all enjoyed this and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye guys. Have a blessed night.